Hi! Today we'll talk about the OSPF protocol. It is most often uh, used interior gateway protocol that allows making complex decisions in big multi-area networks, as well as simple dynamic routing in a small network without deep OSPF knowledge. It means that even if anyone is new in networking, he can avoid making a static route setup on every single router. Instead, he can make uh, routes uh, to redistribute paths to each other dynamically. Uh, it is not recommended to use too many routers in one area, as it could lead to heavy load on the hardware. If you notice excessive load, it is recommended to split routers into several areas. OSPF abbreviature means open shot is passed first, and it is based on the extra algorithm. This algorithm explanation will not be covered in this video. Here I will talk about protocol configuration on MicroTik routers in version 7. First of all, let's see uh, the types of OSPF areas. Main types are standard, backbone is a special type of standard area, stub, including totally stub area, not so stub area. Backbone area should be connected to all other areas. Stub area is an area connected to the backbone area and not to any other area. So it has only one gateway to external network. As you can see, an SSA is used when there is no connection to another OSPF areas, like in the stub areas case, but at the same time OSPF should redistribute other protocols routes, static routes, BGP routes, other routes. In this particular example, uh, RIP protocol routes are being redistributed. For our configuration example, we will take this network path. And uh, as some of you informed us that Winbox configuration is more convenient for you than CLI, let's make it in Winbox today. IP addresses are already set on the routers, so let's go to OSPF configuration. Uh, we go to first router uh, to OSPF configuration. Okay, uh, let's. Uh, I will show routing OSPF, and here is the window. We go to instances, make instance, make area. We need backbone. It's just name, by the way. You can name as as you want, and go to interface templates. Uh, also, you can use network in interface template configuration and then all the interfaces that match this network will be matched. This is useful, for example, if there are several IP addresses on an interface, but you want only one to be used in OSPF. You can also specify just an array parameter. Let's do it. And then all active interfaces with configured IP addresses uh, will be used as OSPF interfaces. Here they are. But please note that interface templates are executed from top to bottom, and if there is an all interface template matcher at the top, then nothing will be passed to the next rules. So let's see another example. Um, let's set all interfaces passive. Then OSPF traffic will not be sent or received uh, on the matching interfaces and uh, other free is not passive. If the other free template is first, then all works as expected. But if the all interfaces merger is first, then all interfaces will be passive and nothing will be left for this rule. So we see that all interfaces are passive. If you want to secure the OSPF, 
So that very bad people can't connect their routers and receive all the OSPF routes. Then we can set the authentication. In our example, we choose to use new shell 512 authentication and the router will be able to make a neighborhood only with routers with same authentication key. Okay, I'll remove example lines and leave only needed configuration. Uh, the second router is an area body router and it is connected to multiple areas. Let's go to second router. We create one instance. We create uh, two areas. One is backbone. One is stop. Uh, it's important to select type stuff, but we can also add name for just to be convenient for us. And we make interface templates. And second interface is in stub area. Okay, let's go to the last router. We also make instance. We go to areas and uh, here I want to know that, note uh, that if there is a backbone area from the default or previous configuration, do not forget to disable it. If a backbone area will stay active and we will add one more area, the router will consider that uh, it is ABR, area body router, what means unnecessary link state advertisements and unneeded routing information in the database and missing some needed LSA at the same time. I must tell that uh, if any area, not especially backbone, but uh, is left, then uh, the router will consider that uh, he is IBR router. Okay, let's go to interface templates. And now we will check what happened. We can see that uh, OSPF neighborship is formed. Uh, the neighbors are in the full state. Uh, how does OSPF process routing information exchange? OSPF uses link state advertisements to do it. There are 11 LSA types, but in this video we will look at only the main LSA types. LSA type 1 or router LSA is sent by routers within the area including the list of direct, directly attached links. These LSAs do not cross ABR or ASBR. We can check that this LSA tab, which is sent from first router, is received by the second and is not to sent to third router. Let's check. Here is router LSA on R1. We go to second router uh, it is uh, received and we go to last router there is no such LSA. Uh, in OSPF neighbors we also can see which uh, router is uh, DR designated router. Let's check. Uh, to do it, I will add one column here. And uh, we can see the uh, designated router. The designated router will make adjustment with other neighbors and only DR will send LSA type 2. 
Basically, uh, DR is uh, made for effective redistribution in the network where not designated routers simply do not float redundant information. So, LSA type 2 or network LSA is used to describe all routers connected to its segment directly. LSA type Two packets are flooded between neighbors in the same area of origin and remain with the, within that area. And here we can see them. Also, uh, the second router is ABR or area body router and it sends LSA type 3 or summary LSA or inter area LSA. This LSA advertises any networks owned by an area to the rest of areas in the OSPF autonomous system. If you want, uh, we can make our stub area totally stub by restricting summary LSAs. We go here and check no summaries. Uh, let's check it and we will see that the second router doesn't make uh, these LSAs anymore. For stubberies there is no, as you can see. So uh, these were LSAs that are sent by default. In OSPF instance configuration, we can force the router to redistribute needed for us routes. Uh, we go to second router OSPF instance. And in this example, I will select default route and static. Press apply. Uh, in LSA tab, uh, we can see that all needed routes are sent as external and they are sent to first router. Here we got them. And they are not sent to the third router. Here they are not. And this is the OSPF rule that external LSA are not sent to stub areas. If we want the default route to be sent to a stub area, we can set it the default cost on second router in area settings. Let's set it one. Uh, let's uh, check if the default route is sent to uh, to third router and it is here. If we want to use uh, OSPF in uh, IP version 6, we can do it in the same way as IP version 4. The difference is that we choose an instance version 3 and then we create an area for that instance and interface template for it. Okay, let's make, we go to instance, select version 3, create area, uh, create interface template, go to second router, Interface template. And let's check. Here we can see that there is a neighbor in state in it and it will be in state full in nearest time. And by the way, both instances uh, IP version 4 and IP version 6 can work in parallel. I want to finish this video with the one filter example. Uh, let's go to first router. I'll go to routing filters. If destination is from this network, then accept, else reject. And let's check we will set it on this instance as input filter let's check IP routes 
here we can see that all other OSPF routes are filtered. This route will not work, but if we want this route not to appear in uh, the routing table at all, uh, we should set this filter on second router as the output filter. There are a lot of possibilities for filters and I will post the link to the routing filter manual below this video. Also, I will provide OSPF manual link. I hope this video was useful for you and thank you for watching.